The following is a presentation of TFNN. Trade what you see with Larry Pesavento. Call now, toll free at 1-877-927-6648 or internationally at 727-873-7618. Now, Larry Pesavento. Okay, looking good, Billy Ray. Feeling good, Lewis. Back in the heat of the battle today, our guest will be none other than the man that has the most, Tim Bost. He will be on at the half-hour break, uh, following through with what he tried to do last week when I couldn't decide whether it was Stan Harley or Tim Boss. I had a rough week last week, folks, but I'm back in the saddle again. Let's take a look at the German DAX. You can see that it's under a great deal of pressure. Uh, the FTSE is also under pressure. I posted the chart of the NASDAQ. Uh, it's at a major, major spot here. It could break out to the upside uh, without any trouble at all. But we got a couple other things that are really, really hot uh, happening right now. Uh, I'm going to cover them one at a time here because I, I think they're, they're that important. If we take a look here uh, at this chart here on the Treasury notes, folks, this is the weekly chart of the Treasury notes. And we are almost at that level at that 125.05. You see we're sitting right here on that 61% retracement on the weekly. We just about got the whole world bearish now. Those guys that were, you know, really bullish, these things have now turned bearish, whether that's good or not. I don't know. And I hate to say that I don't know, folks. But if I told you that I knew something, you know, then I would I would not be telling you the truth. I can tell you some things with a reasonable amount of certainty. But to tell you what the hell is going to happen tomorrow, nobody can do that. Give me a break. Not going to be a break at all. They just can't do it. Now, I wanted to have a couple of questions here about the cryptocurrencies, which I don't cover too much. But I have been watching the uh, action in uh, Coinbase because it's got a lot of play. You'll notice here uh, we had a 382 retracement there in August. Then we made a 78% retracement there in November. We're making an ABC down here at the 141 level, but we've hit the 127 yes, uh, level last week, and it's holding relatively well. That's a good sign. Now, we did get a chart this morning from Crypto Paul, and I have to share it with you because I think it's a, a really, uh-oh, there it is. Hold on just a second. I hate to say that word, uh-oh, but there we are. Let's blow this up just a tiny little bit, and then we'll be ready to go. Okay, this is a chart of Ethereum, okay? And you'll notice here that we do have an ABCD pattern for me here over the last three weeks. It's coming in around 31,250, I believe. Uh, that's going to be a 382 retracement of the high that we made way back in November. So we really need to pay very, very close attention to that if you're in the cryptocurrencies which I'm not. I will be following them this year, but right now there is nothing to do as far as uh, I can see. And I can see all the way to the Isle of Man where Mr. John Jameson is, and he's told me there's nothing to do but sit on your hands and wait and see what happens over the next, next few weeks. Folks, let me talk to you just a little bit about trading in general. I got this from uh, our good friend Rich Anderson, and this is a uh, – uh, I, I, this is right on the, the website, folks, of a spread betting company. It wasn't from Rich. It was from uh, oh, oh, can, oh, Allie sent me this. Anyway, look at this, folks. They show you right here on your spread betting. This is like commodity trading over there because it's tax-free. 68% of retail investor accounts lose money when trading spread bets and CFDs. Uh, contract for differences. That's basically our commodities. Folks, that's the same figure that's here. The difference is people that stay with it over a period of time, whether it's one year, two years, three years, five years, eventually stop making some errors, and then they'll have a better chance uh, of being profitable over that time. But right now, you know, that's not uh, what's really happening. And uh, you have to be able to do the work in order to uh, prove that you can do it. You have to have the responsibility. We've talked about that. You know, till heck freeze is over, and that's been frozen for a long time. Now we've got some really, uh, really interesting things happen, folks. Let me show you. Uh, this is the chart. I want to get this up here now. This is the chart 
of the yield uh, that's going on, the increase in yield in the Treasury notes and the government uh, two-year note. Look at this, folks. This thing has been going straight up. Remember all that time at the bottom? Down there, almost zero, they were telling us negative interest rates, negative interest rates, negative interest rates. Look at this. Now, you, now you're setting any, any, a blind person can see that three drive to a top pattern happening. So yields are just about ready to at least have a pause, if nothing else. And that's what I think we have to pay, you know, very close attention to because as you see this really closely and anybody, I'm going to post it with the, with the, uh, with the thing in, you can see there's a three drive pattern happening right there. And what are we doing in bonds today? We're making a slightly lower, lower than we did last week, right near the breaking out below that 153 level, be a lot of support at 152.20 in the bonds if they get there, but they're acting exactly the way you wanted them to. I'll bring this up here. You know, I'm a contrarian, though, folks. You know, when they tell me it's blue, I say, I'm not so sure. It might be green without the yellow. All I know is that down in that area here, once we broke out at 150, close to that 153, that they, that may be a major bottom. If just all you have to do is look at the charts in the Trade What You See newsletter. You'll see all of those showing you the bonds and notes and all of those are all coming together uh, right about now. And this is when the whole world is, you know, really banging on the door that higher interest rates are coming that's correct but where were they where were they when when the interest rates were zero did they tell us that i don't think so so let's keep ourselves in mind that that's the way it is it may not always be the same now i'm getting a lot of emails uh some of them eh, not so complimentary but that's okay. yeah one or two maybe not a big deal about the fact that uh i uh, was recommending the you know the uh uh, selling of crude oil. And uh, I have to tell you that, well, I'll, I'll post the pattern. I posted in here so many times that uh, it, it's not going to be very difficult to see. Whereas all I got to do is get the darn thing up here and then we should be okay. Oh, please tell me, where are you, boy? Are you kidding me? Bear with me here one second, folks. There is no chance in heck that I don't have that chart in here somewhere. Well, I know where it is. I put it in a different file because it was that important. And we're going to pull that file up, and we will have it right on the money. And there it is. Okay, here it is, boys and girls. Let's get this up here and take a look at it. And then we're going to have a little discussion about it because it's, it's the reason, one of the main reasons, the only reason that I'm a technician. And you'll see here what we have here is a crude oil daily with a perfect ABCD in price and time, that squaring price and time together. That's what Gan talked about. And that that day came in on 2-3. It actually came in on 2-4 on Friday. And, I, well, we'll see if it's going to be that because what we decided to do was to take a short position. But how did we do that? We didn't sell it right there. What we said was just wait to see that that high is not taken out. And then what we did was we did this in a video. We did this in a video on Sunday night telling people the market uh, lo opened lower, rallied up right to that level. And you can see what's happened since that time. Stay with us. I have a wonderful story you have to listen to because it's one of my favorites. You might think that if you want to be successful at trading in the stock market, you're going to need a crystal ball. After all, it's impossible to predict the future, right? Like any endeavor in life, before you decide it's impossible, get some advice from the experts. You might find that it's not so impossible after all. For daily market overviews that give you direction on the key indices, selective stocks, and commodities, subscribe to the opening call newsletter at TFNN.com. The opening call newsletter is written by Basil Chapman, creator of the trading methodology known as the Chapman Wave. The Chapman Wave up-down sequence gives you an edge in identifying price turns, finding the peaks and valleys in stock prices. Get the opening call newsletter by Basil Chapman in your inbox every day. First-time subscribers also get a 30-day money-back guarantee. If you're not satisfied, let us know, and you'll get a full refund within 30 days of signing up. TFN.com, educating investors. 
What's separating you from the most successful men and women on Wall Street? That's right, information. Having all the information gives us the perspective we need to place the right trades at the right time. The TAS Profile Scanner is the premier market profile-based scanner. Powered by its acclaimed TAS proprietary algorithms, this feature-rich scanner instantly filters over 2,500-plus global financial markets, such as stocks, ETFs, commodities, futures, and Forex. This powerful suite of tools leverages instant trade filtering and strategy formulation to show you emerging trades before they happen. For a limited time, you can save $100 off your first month by using the promo code UPGRADE. And you still get a 30-day money-back guarantee, so you have nothing to risk. Level the playing field with the TAS Profile Scanner, which you can find under the Services tab at TFNN.com. Sign up today. Sharpening your skills as an investor is like getting better at playing a musical instrument. You have to practice, sure, but you also need excellent instruction from experts. At TFNN, you'll get advice and guidance from the authority in technical market analysis. And it's not just dry, tedious text either. TFNN airs live financial content streamed live on TFNN.com and TFNN's YouTube channel with Tiger TV. Live every market day from 8.30 a.m. to 4 p.m. Eastern for free. Each host is an experienced trader and gives their take on the market while taking calls and questions live from around the world. From the moment the market opens until the closing bell sounds, Tiger TV has eight different shows with expert hosts to help you make the right moves with your money. Watch online at TFNN.com or on TFNN's YouTube channel and become the investor you were born to be. TFNN, educating investors. Call now, toll free at 1-877-927-6648. Internationally at 727-873-7618. Okay, folks, we're going to go back in time. 31 years. It's January the 15th, the solar eclipse and a new moon, and I'm sitting there in the trading house in Pismo Beach, and I see this same pattern that I'm looking at right now in crude oil. Three drive to a top pattern, and we've got crude oil trading at $42 a barrel, and everybody's telling us that it's going to $100 a barrel because of the thing that's going on uh, with Iraq, possibly with a war and all that stuff, and our troops are there and all that stuff. But let's go back about four or five days before that, around the 10th or 11th of January, I get a call from my good friend John Thielen down in uh, Houston, Texas. He was running the Alaskan Pipeline oil supply, and that was run through Goodyear Tire and Rubber. And he was in charge of the options and hedging of all that oil. And they were making a ton of money because the premiums on these things were out of sight. And I mean, they were just. John was telling me stuff that I couldn't get rid of. He said, "I'm getting, you know, th you know, three times bid in order to write the write the options." And I said, "Yeah, I know it's great." When then he gets a t uh, a memo from one of the vice presidents saying to cease all operations of hedging because we don't want to be uh, short any oil at all when the war starts. And John said, this is the kind, you know, he had to really try to tell him that, no, no, no. And so he said, no, he said, are you either going to uh, uh, do what we tell you to do or do we have to replace you? And John says, we are stopping it right now. And I told John, the thing that you've got to do is you've got to put this in a memo that it's the wrong thing to do. And, you know, this is how we make our money. Only very seldom do we get option premiums this high. It's a no brainer. We can't lose. Please reinstate it. That was four or five days before. Well, we come to June the fifth, uh, January the fifteenth, and of course you know what happened. But I'll explain to you what happened. I uh, went to. I was short gold, short uh, the crude oil, and I was long stocks. Had a beautiful Gartley buy pattern in the S and P. No overnight markets. Okay, so I go to get my haircut. I can't get a haircut at the usual eight dollar place because my daughter is a friend of the lady that runs the salon. So I had to go for the thirty five dollar haircut. Same haircut. The difference is you got a glass of champagne. Well, it's five minutes after four. The phone rings and it's Jill on the line. She says, your daughter wants to talk to you. And she said, Dad, she said, are you still short the oil? And I said, uh, yeah, dear. She, oh, Dad. She says, don't lose your day job, J -dob, day job. She says, turn on CNN. So we turn on CNN and there they are. It's, it's the 4th of July. 
in Baghdad. They're lighting it up like a Christmas tree. And I said, well, no, don't worry, dear. You know, I've found other jobs. I'll be able to be okay. So I, I get my haircut. I go back, or my styling. I go back to the, uh, the trading house. And, of course, there's no overnight markets or anything. And so I call the Drexel desk in New York, who I still had ties with. And I, I, the, the phone's busy. And it's busy. I wait an hour. Still busy. So I go home. Still try at home. Finally, about 10.30 at night, I get through. And I said, uh, talk to the young fellow that I knew there, Maury. I said, Maury, what the hell is going on? He said, Larry, I've been on the line with one trader for five and a half hours. I said, oh, dear God. I said, uh, what's the price of oil? He said, there is no price of oil. I said, what are you talking about? He said, there's no bids, Larry. There's no bids. Five dollars lower. He said the last bid I even saw was like six dollars lower, and you know that was snapped up in a minute. And I said, "Well, what the heck? What's gold doing?" He said, "Gold's limit down twenty five dollars." I said, "Oh my God!" And I knew I had something good going because you know it caught everybody by surprise. But what happened was oil went from forty two, had a little sell off. January of the following year, January of 1992, oil was trading at $11 a barrel. And we were here in Tucson giving a big seminar with uh, the hockey players from uh, the hockey team and three or four other Merck members and about 15 other traders here in the, uh, uh, in the area here. I don't know what that, uh, not to worry about that. <laughs> Sorry about that, folks. I keep forgetting to turn my cell phone off. But what, what I'm looking at is uh, trying to get my – uh, thought straight without that god darn phone ringing and I can't turn it off uh, so anyway not to uh, just uh, boy okay sorry folks let me uh, let me move on here anyway the, the price went all the way down to uh, uh, $11 a barrel we bought it there $11 a barrel and that was one of our better trades that we had that day that we were trading there the reason I'm bringing this to your attention folks is the news is already out there on this thing everybody knows the Russian troops are there whether they attack or not I don't know it's probably a you know poker game that's going on but that I don't that I don't know so that's the main thing that uh, you know I was uh, you know, that I was looking at. So that's the main thing that I wanted to bring it to your attention. That's why I'm a technician, folks. I've been through these before. I'll be through them again. I could be totally wrong. You know, we're break even now in the oil. So if it goes back up and gets us out, then, you know, I stand aside. But, you know, right now it's got a little over, you know, $1.30 uh, per profit. And we'll see, you know, how it ends up. And that's what we're, that's what we're watching to see. So that's the main thing that we're paying attention to here. Uh, today. So anyway, let's uh, go on to a couple other things that I wanted to share with you. Uh, uh, it's natural gas, folks. This is you talk about a wild market. This is one of the things that I was looking at in the newsletter. I posted this as a potential buy down here. I mean, I didn't think it was going to drop five thousand dollars over the overnight, but it did. It went right down to that four twenty nine level. Now by the time I saw that it was already trading at four thirty seven. So what I tried to do, and this is what I do when I'm watching these markets, I go and I watch it on a shorter term basis. And the first thing that I I look for when the market really spikes like that is for a three eight two retracement. Uh, right on there you can see spot on. We went right up there at to the four sixty level. Folks this thing went from 460 all the way back down to 420 again. That had a $10,000 swing overnight. You, you think that's wild? I mean, that, this thing is bigger than the gold market. You've got to pay attention. If you're looking at volatility, you've got to pay attention to the natural gas because it rocks and rolls like something you've never seen before. And I think that's uh, why it's uh, so very important as we – look at these things here today. If you have any questions, it's 877-927-6648. And we'll have our good friend Tim Bost on the line here uh, very, very shortly. But uh, I wanted to uh, bring this one to your attention too. Hold on one second. This one is the, uh, oh, the XOP. I promised Mikey up in Canada to show the XOP. And you'll see here the XOP is almost at the 61% uh, retracement. Whether that's going to be going on or not who knows uh, okay okay that's good okay thank you very much and anyway that's uh, pretty much what we're looking at we have uh mr z on the line with nq wants to know about the nasdaq call somebody that knows mr z 
<laughs> well, in that case, I'm hanging up. <laughs> uh, okay. I, uh, we're, uh, we're very pleased that you're back in the saddle after taking two yeah. days off last Thursday and Friday. Yeah, I'd rather not have taken them off, let me tell you. I, I had a sore throat <laughs> that you wouldn't believe. But go ahead, Patty. What's up? You say, um, and uh, parenthetically, we, uh, well, I and lots of us just love hearing all those history stories. Uh. Uh, going back to 1991, 92, boy, that uh, I remember those vividly with the oil and the, uh, oh, the yeah. stocks back then. Yeah. Sure um, was. Oh, we got a break here. Can you wait till after the break? And we'll, we'll have do. you on shortly. And then we have Tim Bost after you, Z. We'll be right back, folks, with Mr. Z from Philly. Having fun trading the markets, but having trouble finding like-minded individuals to discuss your trading and investment ideas with? Become an apex predator in the trading markets and join the Tiger's Den Trading Room only at TFNN.com. The Tiger's Den is an exclusive trading room where successful traders from around the world come to exchange trades and ideas. Join the den and surround yourself with the sharpest minds in the trading world. Subscribers to the Tiger's Den are also the first to have their questions answered live on air and can privately chat with our TFNN hosts live during their shows. Interact with other Tigers and Tigresses as they share trading ideas, news analysis, and discuss the market action all trading day. Subscribe to the Tiger's Den risk-free with our 30-day money-back guarantee and become part of the TFNN trading community. TFNN, educating investors. You could be making money off the stock market. And if you're already making money off the stock market, you could be making a lot more. Check out TFNN and Tiger TV and get expert investing advice to give you the power to control your financial future. Go to TFNN.com and find the newsletter for you. Whether you're into trading gold, metals, futures, currencies, or options, you'll get advice and analysis to help you seriously get ahead. TFNN also features trading services with a 30-day money-back guarantee for new subscribers, as well as TFNN's Tiger Den Trading Room, trading software, and educational webinars for all trading levels and make sure you check out tiger tv for free on tfnn.com or tfnn's youtube channel for live financial content from 8 30 a.m to 4 p.m eastern on market days stop watching on the sidelines while other people get rich and become the investor you were born to be tfnn educating investors TFNN is excited about our new software charting program, The Art of Timing the Trade Charts. In collaboration with Tom O'Brien and using his best-selling book, The Art of Timing the Trade, Your Ultimate Trading Mastery System, David White has programmed an outstanding piece of software that will complement any trader's methodology. Using this first-of-its-kind program, The Art of Timing the Trade Charts allows you to scan thousands of stocks for Fibonacci formation setups, including Gartley's, ABC's, Butterflies, and much more. The Art of Timing the Trade Charts is designed to help you when scouring the markets for stocks just beginning to form the trading patterns that many investors spend days, weeks, or even months searching to find. And right now, we're offering licenses available at only $79 a month. We are so confident that you're going to love this new charting software that will even give you a 30-day unconditional money-back guarantee. Don't miss out on this incredible new piece of software. Get your copy of The Art of Timing the Trade Charts today by visiting TFNN.com. This segment is brought to you by Think or Swim. For more information, just click the Think or Swim banner on the front page of TFNN.com. Okay, folks, as our guest today, without further ado, the man <laughs> with the most, his name is Boast. Tim Boss, <laughs> what's up, Bubba? <laughs> yeah, hey, I got your, well. I got your name right. You're sure you. you're not you're sure you're not Stan Harley, right? Well, I checked in the mirror this morning. Not, not yet. One of these days, the transformation will take place, I'm sure. We'll okay. See. We would like to hear and see your charts, uh, hopefully, uh, like they should have been last week. But please <laughs> well, go ahead, Tim. We appreciate it. 
we, we, we are now out of the Mercury retrograde period at last. That happened you know, Thursday <laughs> night of last week. So, so right now we, we're, we, we can't use that excuse anyway, right? <laughs> so what we're looking at uh, for this week ahead here coming up at the end of the week on Friday is uh, what uh, I, I decided to call a triple whammy <laughs> because uh, we've got uh, three big events that can impact the markets happening more or less simultaneously within the course uh, of, of a 12-hour period or so here. Uh, we've got uh, Mercury uh, in a conjunction with Pluto. This is something that happens fairly uh, frequently. It's, it's not an outlandish event, but it does have a, a little potential effect on uh, market action. Uh, and we've got Mars Kronos uh, opposition. Uh, Mars uh, lining up uh, 180 degrees away from one of our friendly trans-Neptunian <coughs> factors. And then Poseidon, another trans-Neptunian factor, is making its retrograde station. <coughs> Uh, on uh, Friday as well. So whenever we see a clustering effect like this, we pay extra attention, and it looks like we're setting up for a potential inflection point in the market action, uh, kicking in uh, this Friday or possibly as late as the following Monday on uh, on Valentine's Day, on the 14th of February there, so a week from, okay. from now. So we're anticipating some, some uh, extra dynamics uh, kicking in here as a result of all of this. That sounds really good. Well, you've certainly been hitting it pretty good. You said we were getting ready for a pretty good rally in the cryptos. So we're not going to nickname you the crypto kid. So that's already been taken. <laughs> let, let me tell you a funny story. I work with John Jameson out of the Isle of Man. And, uh, you know, he's, he does a lot in crypto. So one morning it was, oh, we started working on Saturday morning. And I, I hey, I said, uh, is Johnny Crypto there? Oh, he got so angry with me. He said, if you're... If you ever call me anything like that again, he said, I'll disconnect you. <laughs> oh my, so okay. you're, you're, yeah. not, you're not the crypto kid. You're Tim Boss, the man with the most. Okay. So well, keep, we'll try, keep try going, keep my friend. Straight. I'm not Stan Harley, not the crypto kid. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> so just, we'll have a checklist here we have to work through, right? <laughs> so, <laughs> okay. So what we've done here with the S&P chart is uh, this uh, price bar is imaginary. Uh, it it uh, corresponds with previous events here uh, that we set up for the, the 11th of February, put a circle around it it there um obviously we haven't traded yet on, on that day uh but this is less a price projection just to indicate how close this time frame is uh right now and we put in our uh, uh second harmonic uh, planetary price lines for mars which are the red uh, diagonal lines and chronos which more or less horizontal uh purple lines here uh and what we're seeing here is a crossing point that is that opposition since this is a second harmonic uh, chart every time we see these two lines crossing uh, they are either uh, in, in conjunction or uh, 180 degrees apart. Now, the important thing to understand about this mars Kronos uh, dynamic is it happens only every two years. Uh, we talked about the frequency of the Mercury-Pluto conjunction, that Poseidon station happens once a year. It goes retrograde once a year, direct once a year. Uh, so uh, we get a little more frequency there. This is a bit rarer, uh, and so we're focusing on this mars Kronos uh, opposition or the second harmonic uh, dynamic. When we talk about harmonics, what we're doing is uh, slicing and dicing uh, the circle. Uh, the circle is representative of the whole, and it's the first harmonic. And just uh, we take our pizza pie slicer there and cut it in half, and that becomes the second harmonic. And we get two uh, points opposite each other uh, on uh, the pizza, uh, so to speak. <laughs> so uh, that's how we uh, gauge our harmonic dynamics there. We've done some back testing here with Mars Kronos, an interesting phenomenon uh, over its history with the S&P. We can go back and, and get 30 or so good iterations of this uh, and uh, yeah. what we're seeing here is uh, that zero point in the middle is where we will be on Friday so we could see a move upward uh, uh, into to Friday uh, but then as we move through that and past that we're anticipating a period of some trading congestion and then a pullback uh, going into about uh, two weeks uh, from from Friday uh, uh, there on uh, around the 25th or so of, uh, of February and and after that, a nice rally kicking in with the S&P. If it follows this model and uh, follows our backtesting experience uh, with that. So based on that, then, we've done a lot of study and, and calculations, some uh, more aggressive backtesting. Come up with an optimum swing trade here uh, for those who want shorter-term engagement in the markets. We're going to suggest uh, holding off on, uh, for a couple of 
weeks here uh, before uh, looking at a long position uh, in the S&P. Uh, on Friday, the, the 25th, two weeks uh, after this coming Friday, we'll have that uh, little point again uh, just to the right of the number 10 on the, on the right there. Uh, that's that's We're looking for that trough uh, to kick in and then enter a long trade at that point, uh, selling it off on Thursday, uh, the 10th of, of March. So holding it just a couple of, of uh, calendar weeks here. This has a 78.3% probability of being a winning trade. Uh, and, it, you know, you won't uh, double your money overnight, but at least a, a one and three quarter percent a return is what's normal for this particular move whenever it occurs. Uh, so based on that and our back testing, uh, this is what we'll be trading. And, uh, you know, we, we, this, of course, is neither a, a recommendation to buy or sell any securities and past performance doesn't guarantee uh, future results, whoa, as whoa, they whoa. say. <laughs> but still, Wait, these, uh, this, these this are, what it looks like. <laughs> these are not guaranteed? <laughs> not this one anyway. <laughs> hey, so, hey, Tim, do, do me a favor. Go back to your Kronos where you had those two lines together. I think it's slide number three. Yeah, those of you that are listening and can't see this slide and get on to TFNN and see this because, I mean, this is truly amazing. It had the absolute low on the bottom and the absolute high on the top. I mean, and, and close on all the others. I mean, that's an amazing, amazing thing. I mean, you, you found something here that is, uh, you, you had to pay attention to this. Well, we try to pay attention, but uh, you know, it's yeah. interesting, uh, Larry, because we look at charts all the time, yeah. and most of the time this stuff is invisible, and then we start to look at it through that lens of mm -hmm. the uh, astro trading perspective and uh, put in the planetary uh, dynamics, and lo and behold, we got stuff to look at. <laughs> so it's interesting. Okay. Wow. Okay. Keep continuing, my friend. But I think that's really, uh, uh, really testament to this kind of stuff. It's really very well, interesting. The, the, the interesting thing, too, about this chart is that we're dealing with the second harmonic uh, planetary price lines. Uh, we can uh, look at uh, uh, upcoming astrological uh, events, and in this case, what we're seeing is Mars and Kronos opposite each other in the in the zodiac, and we know that's coming up on this particular date. That's what leads us to take the look at the second harmonic. Uh, and it gives us a little extra uh, angle here. Because it's an opposition, then what we do is put in our planetary price lines uh, with a second harmonic. If you look closely at these red diagonal lines, uh, you'll notice uh, that uh, the one that cuts diagonally through the, the, the trading prices is a little thicker, a little heavier line. And then just below that circle we've drawn on the, the uh, right there, there's another uh, horizontal or, or, or a diagonal uh, red line for her first harmonic uh -huh. Mars. The second harmonic is in between the two. So well, we, we're watching it then. We have to pay a few bills. Stay with us. We'll be right back with Tim's Boss Financial Cycles Weekly. Are you in the market for buying or selling real estate in the Bay Area, including the surrounding St. Petersburg, Tampa, and Clearwater markets? Tiger Real Estate LLC is a firm that has extensive experience in the Tampa Bay Area. Whether you're looking to sell your current property for maximum value, or you're in the market for a second home or investment property, Tiger Realty has the experience across all areas of real estate in the Tampa Bay Area to help buyers and sellers make the most informed decisions across all price levels. From the price you should be paying per square foot in certain up-and-coming areas to the type of cash flow investment properties are capable of creating, Tiger Real Estate can help you make the best decision when it comes to all areas of the market. Before you make one of the biggest decisions of your financial future, call Tiger Real Estate LLC today at 727-329-8322 or email us at tiger at tfnn.com. That's 727-329-8322. Call us today. technology around us is changing every day. With so much happening, it can seem impossible to keep up with all the information. David White's investment newsletter, The Technology Insider, is designed to give you all the information you need to understand the technology that shapes today's markets and tomorrow's future. David White has made his living staying on the cutting edge of technology. His weekly newsletter will give you specific recommendations for value tech stocks, as well as entry prices, target prices, and stops to set for each trade. Dave delivers his weekly newsletters every Friday with updates throughout the week. 
You can get the Technology Insider at TFNN.com for only $37.50. Sign up for David's newsletter, The Technology Insider, and get an inside look at everything the technology sector has to offer. Try it risk-free today with our 30-day money-back guarantee. TFNN, educating investors. Are China A shares hot or not? If you trade China A shares, now may be time to take a closer look. Trade CHAU or CHAD, Directions Daily CSI 300 China A share bull and bear ETFs. China A shares in either direction. Visit directioninvestments.com today. An investor should consider the investment objectives, risks, charges, and expenses of the Direction shares carefully before investing. The prospectus and summary prospectus contain this and other information about Direction shares. To obtain a prospectus or summary prospectus, please contact Direction shares at 866-476-7523. The prospectus or summary prospectus should be read carefully before investing. An investment in the funds is subject to risk, including the possible loss of principal. The funds are designed to be utilized only by sophisticated investors such as traders and active investors. Distributor for Side Fund Services, LLC. Don't forget, you can listen to TFNN live on your mobile device 24 hours per day. Go to TFNN.com, then hit Watch Tiger TV. That's TFNN.com, then hit Watch Tiger TV. Okay, we're back, folks, speaking with Tim Boss, Financial Cycles Weekly. Tim, could you please continue? Absolutely. Let's talk a little bit about uh, Bitcoin, shall we? <laughs> uh, we get lots of questions about that. And, uh, you know, we, we've taken a look here at the, the uh, potential for an inflection point with the S&P. We're interested in tracking the same thing with Bitcoin, obviously. Uh, and as you pointed out earlier uh, in our conversation today, uh, we had suggested that uh, uh, this pullback we saw recently in Bitcoin was a good uh, buying opportunity, looking for a surge uh, or, or at least a rebound <laughs> in, in uh, uh, Bitcoin. Uh, of course, we've... Uh, began our, our, our research in this area a couple of years ago with our book, uh, Bitcoin Astrology, uh, that's uh, available on Amazon, and uh, we collaborated with uh, Bill Meridian and Christine Skinner and some other great folks in the uh, astro trading uh, community uh, to take a look at this uh, weird critter that we call Bitcoin. Uh, this is our latest uh, uh, trading chart, and uh, during the break, I just typed in the current price there uh, in the middle of the, of the page. Uh, it, uh, uh, it's currently June just shy of 44,000. It's uh, 43, uh, 9, uh, uh, 3457 when I checked about uh, two minutes ago <laughs> and so uh, we are looking here uh, at uh, something that's constantly on the move. It's an incredibly, incredibly yeah. volatile. Uh, so we always have to uh, look at our stopwatch and check it again. <laughs> There's uh, that kind yeah, of phenomenon sure. that we're, we're, we're dealing with here. Uh, so what we're seeing here is evidence of this uh, rebound. Let's see, I'm not sure if I put this in. Yes, I did. I did a little blow up here of this uh, situation. Uh, so we can look at it a little bit more intelligently. Uh, and these are, are the daily price bars, which, of course, uh, 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 indicate pretty wild and wide swings with Bitcoin on a regular basis. Uh, when we saw that pullback, we had actually gotten down to that uh, uh, support point at 32,850 uh, and change. Oh, and so wow, that uh, uh, right gave us the, the indication. Wow. Of the yeah. And, and so here cool. what we're looking at are the uh, planetary price lines for Venus and for Kronos, uh, as well as uh, those uh, diagonal uh, blue lines are part of that GAN fan projection that we've been looking yeah. at as well to get some extra confirmation uh, there. Uh, if you'll notice at the bottom there, we say that 28,350 uh, is what we're defining as critical support. Uh, as we saw the pullback coming in, and we said if we get below that level, then we got to kind of recalculate. We're looking for that to be very, very very solid support long term here. Of course, we didn't even get close to testing that. Uh, but these increments uh, with the Kronos lines are providing good indications of the support and resistance. Uh, very good. Uh, this is real. What really amazes me, and this is the uh, uh, stuff from Jeannie Long and uh, her daughter, Linda, right? Uh, 
Right, exactly. Uh, what, Fib- Galactic Trader, is that what it's called? Yeah, Galactic Trader, yeah, and it's okay. an add-on to the Fibonacci Trader software that Robert Krauss uh, developed. And so okay. uh, Jeannie and Robert combined forces and were able to add the Astro yeah. indicators there. Very, very powerful uh, software. We recommend it hi- highly uh, yeah. and uh, certainly uh, encourage experimentation with us. It makes it easy to do these kinds of uh, weird calculations. Uh, there are other tools yeah. available, of course, but uh, this one is one I found the most intuitive and comprehensive in terms of actual use. Uh, so if we're looking here at this uh, level now of almost hitting 44,000, what we're looking at is this uh, level of uh, 41,850 uh, uh, as, as becoming a new support uh, zone for this. We'll have to test okay. this out uh, for a few days and see. And of course, uh, you know, we, we can uh, look at our increments there. Our next target then is that 46,350. Notice once okay. again, that's a heavier purple line. That's the first harmonic chronos we're running into. Uh, so we could see stronger resistance there. Yeah. Again, that uh, is, is what we'll have to, to test out. Now, you know, with uh, Bitcoin, as uh, with uh, the S&P, as we were looking a minute ago, we can do our back testing here. Uh, and a, and a, an important word of warning, you know, we talked about past performance and probability and all of that, uh, and it doesn't <laughs> guarantee future results. When we're doing our back testing with Bitcoin, we have maybe 10, 11 examples uh, because it's been trading such a relatively short period of time. Uh, yeah. And so when we look at Mars Kronos oppositions, it's maybe half a dozen cases that we're basing this on uh, and so this is to be taken with a grain of salt uh, so what we're seeing here is shortly after uh, this uh, uh, coming up, uh, you know, we have that uh, potential uh, uh, swing, big volatile swing uh, and, uh, uh, and, and uh, potentially uh, a trade coming out of that. Uh, so we tested this up one side and down the other to try to find a, a workable strategy here. Uh, and uh, with Bitcoin, what we're uh, looking at is the potential for a, a high probability trade, in fact, 80 percent likelihood uh, of uh, this working out. If we were to take on a long position on uh, Thursday, uh, February the 10th, that's uh, coming up uh, you know, three days from now. So uh, that would be when we're looking at a potential entry point uh, and then holding that until the first week in March on March the 3rd. Uh, that has an 80% probability of uh, getting a positive return. Expected return wow. there a little over, well, about 6.5%, uh, which for uh, you know, most uh, trades is, is pretty solid. For Bitcoin, it's very, very puny. And, of course, the whole <laughs> caveat here is against holding a Bitcoin position for several weeks. Uh, and and uh, you know, most, most traders don't want that kind of exposure uh, to the volatility. Uh, but if you've got the extra uh, resources lying around and want to take a wild ride, this is one we, we, we'll sell you a ticket to. Yeah. How's that? Yeah. Also, with a, with a, with a uh, dynamic dose of chutzpah, you need that. Because exactly. if you exactly. don't, uh, you're going to be really scared in these markets because, you know, 40 uh, you know, 44,000. We don't have any stocks other than Berkshire Hathaway that trade like that, and it doesn't trade very much, you know. Well, it does, but exactly. not well, for the little yes. people. So that's a well, pretty yeah, good. There, there's some institutional yeah. chunks that move yeah. around from time to time, but with Bitcoin, <laughs> hey. it has attracted a, a very uh, broad and very inexperienced audience, and that's why we want to okay. give it attention here. Okay, why don't you go ahead? Well, in looking at all of this, of course, we uh, provide all kinds of things that we are exploring on a regular basis, and we do like to share that information uh, with uh, webinars, and we do publications as well. Uh, we've got a brand new uh, GAN course out uh, that we'd be glad to share information on. Uh, and if you want to connect with all of this, uh, the way to do that uh, is uh, through this link that we've provided here, bit.ly slash Tim Larry P. Everything's lowercase except the letter – the name initials, T, L, and P, uh, okay. will need to be uppercase uh, for that to work. It's case-sensitive uh, URL there. Uh, but uh, we're planning a webinar for later in the week. We'll make sure that you get hooked up with that. That's uh, absolutely free to attend, although we will make some uh, offers of, of uh, other things that you can uh, get involved with if you, if you care to do so. Uh, but uh, we have a lot of fun doing this on a regular basis, and our main aim yeah. here is to help uh, turn folks on to the, what we're calling the Astro Trading Advantage. Yeah. Uh, we 
always like to understand the market fundamentals that apply, the supply and demand, the, the corporate leadership, the earnings reports, all those good things yeah. we give a lot of attention to. Uh, but in addition, we use our technical analysis tools. And what we found, as we indicated earlier with these planetary price lines, is that uh, when you start to add the astrological dynamics, it gives you much stronger and sharper insights into the trading charts and into the trading opportunities that are there as well. And we're pleased to say it usually works out in our favor. Hey, listen, my friend, thank you for being with us. And we'll have you on again in a couple of weeks. And uh, keep living the dream on the green side of the grass. We'll do it. Thanks so much, Larry. Have a great day. Great Tim week. Boss, the man with the most. We'll talk to you later, buddy. We'll be right back, folks. Sharpening your skills as an investor is like getting better at playing a musical instrument. You have to practice, sure, but you also need excellent instruction from experts. At TFNN, you'll get advice and guidance from the authority in technical market analysis. And it's not just dry, tedious text either. TFNN airs live financial content streamed live on TFNN.com and TFNN's YouTube channel with Tiger TV. Live every market day from 8.30 a.m. to 4 p.m. Eastern. For free, each host is an experienced trader and gives their take on the market while taking calls and questions live from around the world. From the moment the market opens until the closing bell sounds, Tiger TV has eight different shows with expert hosts to help you make the right moves with your money. Watch online at TFNN.com or on TFNN's YouTube channel and become the investor you were born to be. TFNN, educating investors. You might think that if you want to be successful at trading in the stock market, you're going to need a crystal ball. After all, it's impossible to predict the future, right? Like any endeavor in life, before you decide it's impossible, get some advice from the experts. You might find that it's not so impossible after all. For daily market overviews that give you direction on the key indices, selective stocks, and commodities, subscribe to the opening call newsletter at TFNN.com. The opening call newsletter is written by Basil Chapman, creator of the trading methodology known as the Chapman Wave. The Chapman Wave up-down sequence gives you an edge in identifying price turns, finding the peaks and valleys in stock prices. Get the opening call newsletter by Basil Chapman in your inbox every day. First-time subscribers also get a 30-day money-back guarantee. If you're not satisfied, let us know and you'll get a full refund within 30 days of signing up. TFNN.com, educating investors. Are you looking for a secured investment which pays you on a monthly basis? The Tiger First Mortgage Program may be the program for you. The best rate on a five-year CD in the country right now, according to Bankrate.com, is paying 1% per year or $1,000 per $100,000 invested. The Tiger First Mortgage Program pays 7% per year, paid monthly, on secured, high-value, buildable properties in St. Petersburg, Florida. The investment is for four years, paying 7% per year or $7,000 per $100,000 invested. Your investment is secured by high-value real estate in St. Petersburg, Florida. Your investment can be anywhere from $100,000 to $500,000. Do you want to make $1,000 per year on $100,000 invested or $7,000 per year on a secured Tiger First Mortgage? The Tiger First Mortgage Program may be just the program for you. The Tiger First Mortgage Program pays 7% per year paid monthly. For more information, you can call 877-518-9190. That's 877-518-9190. Okay, folks, I posted a chart of the NASDAQ for Mr. Z. We were unable to get him back on the line because of our guest. Uh, basically, what we're looking at here is a 50% retracement. We haven't taken that out as yet. I think it's very important because it's lining up exactly with what happened in February of 2020. You notice we had a four-day rally then. This time, we had an eight-day rally. This time, at that time, it stopped at the 61% retracement. And guess what it did this time, folks? 61%. You can see that in the newsletter. We posted it everywhere as much as we can. So that's it. I want to continue that story about the thing with the crude oil and a Goodyear tire and rubber. Well, when the, when the proverbial poo-poo hit the fan, guess who they tried to fire? 
uh, they tried to fire John because he didn't continue it. Of course, he had all of the information, and of course, they caught this super vice president in a big lie. He was let go. They gave John a nice bonus of about $10,000, but what John told him after it was all over, he said, look, I only stopped about 80% of the hedging. He said, I had to do some of it. He said, because on that last day, he was selling option premiums where he usually gets one-to-one -one as a payoff with about a 95% chance of winning. He was getting six and ten times the prices that he was expecting and he said that was finding money in the street he said i couldn't possibly and he wasn't able to trade for himself because of his contract but he was able to get some of it back but uh they lost uh close to about 35 million dollars uh on that day just because they were not hedged and uh, that's what the big problem was. So let's keep in mind. One other thing, folks, uh, those of you that have been out to visit me know that I drive a, a classic car. It's a, it's 11 years old. I bought, I, you know, I just love the car. I bought it with Mark Douglas. It has a great deal of sentimental value to me. It runs perfectly, but I had a little part problem. It's going to take three or four days to get the part. So I went to the dealer who I know, and he said, it's going to be about three days. I said, well, can you give me a loaner? He said, go out there and pick any car you want. And guess what? I found a beautiful black Corvette convertible. And I said, how about this one? He said, take it. And so I have this car, and man, it is, oh my God, it's got that huge engine in it. It is so cool. So I'm bring, bringing it back up the hill, and I go past the nursing home, and the ladies are waving their hankies at me. I, I think they were hankies. I'm not sure. We'll see you tomorrow. Tim, uh, Jeff Huge, uh, Alpha Insights will be our guest. May God bless. <laughs>